Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I want to talk about art sites and what art sites I have found to be the most helpful, the most intuitive to use, the easiest to use, you know, just go over all the upsides and the downsides of all the sites I've used. Okay, so let's get started. First, I want to talk about DeviantArt. So DeviantArt is the site I have been a part of for the longest and has probably been one of the less um, impactful sites for me. Um, I was introduced to the site from my, or by my sister. I've been on here for years and years and years. I think I've been on here since 2011. Um, and I always forget to upload here. That's my own fault, um, but I find uploading to be probably one of the more tedious things about this site. Um, when you're uploading on the website, it just is a very long process, I find. And unless you have the core membership or the premium membership, um, it sometimes can limit how much you upload um, at once, that is. Um, but I find that you can get around this by just dragging a bunch and dropping them into the submit because then I'll up upload them all at once rather than you doing it all individually which it wants premium for that but yeah I found that it hasn't been very helpful even when I do upload things that I find to be I'm gonna say more relevant um, sometimes I upload my own stuff and I don't expect that to get a lot but when I upload stuff for like Rampa or Pokemon or anything like that, it doesn't seem to get a lot of traction. Um, my most favorited thing actually is from, I think, 2013 on this site, and I haven't really been able to do any better than that since. And I've found that it's very hard to build a following on this site. Um, I only I have 81 watchers for the eight years I've been on this site so I don't have much to show for how much work I've put into this and everything. I have over 500 deviations on this site so I've got a lot of work to show like a lot of work but nothing to show for it. Um, the setup of the site is kind of ishy. Um, it's not my favorite. Um, I always find myself not wanting to look at my notifications and everything I'm following. I find the favoriting process to be kind of tedious, um, especially on the site, which is where I use it most. Um, so when you're on it, everything kind of clumps together in folders and you have to drag and drop it into your favorites unless you want to open it and favorite it that way. So um, I often just let things build up and up and up and then my inbox is always flooded with just random stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and I feel most of my things don't get a lot of likes nowadays. I get like five likes most, so it doesn't even seem worth it to sometimes upload here. Um, the app I find to be easier to upload um, your images, actually, um, I've enjoyed uploading art through the app a lot more than I've enjoyed it uploading it through the computer. Um, it just seems to be a little bit more streamlined uh, the way the app is set up. The app looks very different from the site. The site looks the same as it did when I joined. Um, so it really hasn't changed much. Uh, I found that I've gotten a lot of good friends through the site though. Um, I've met a lot of really awesome people and awesome artists and really have had like a good time being able to like connect with these people and talk with them and everything. It's a big gathering of artists so that's one thing that's really nice about this site. Um, would I recommend people join this site? Uh, I actually kind of would say perhaps not. Um, I find it to be not as helpful to me, and I feel like since it is an older site, it might not be as relevant as maybe more up-and-coming sites and other sites that I've joined recently where I've found the community to be a lot more active and everything.
But yeah, that's it for DeviantArt. Next up is Tumblr. So Tumblr, I find to be a very easy to upload site. You just upload and then you put tags in and everything. You don't really have to do much. It's really simple to upload. Um, it's just a big site though, so I always find it to be kind of hard to reach people on this site. Um, I've been on this site since very recently I rejoined just for art. So, um, I've got a lot of my newer stuff up here. Um, I don't always update it as much as I probably should. Uh, I find that my own work does not get much traction at all. And even when I do upload things that are kind of more fandom based, they don't seem to get a ton of of traction themselves but at the same time there's other things that I upload that really take off and get a lot of traction um, I think the most notes I've gotten on something is there's one here that's 53 um, I have two that have 53 notes so that's kind of like the way you get likes kind of oh I have one with 54 too um, but I find I upload stuff and then it kind of goes under the radar just because of how much stuff is on Tumblr. Um, Tumblr also is not exactly a dedicated art site like DeviantArt or some of the other sites I'm going to be looking at. So that kind of makes it probably a little bit more difficult to kind of reach the audience that you're probably going for. Um, but um, with people reblogging your stuff, that seems to help a lot more if you want to get your stuff out uh, rather than someone just liking your stuff. Uh, that's what I found anyways. Uh, overall, I haven't found this site very helpful to my growth. Um, there isn't really a great way to really interact with the pieces that you see on Tumblr. Um, even when people um, reblog your work, it doesn't really seem there's really no like interaction with the people who are uploading and everything unless you're sending them questions uh it's kind of i want to kind of say it's a lonely site uh, um the nice thing about deviantart is that you can comment and a lot of other sites there's the commenting function but tumblr does not have this function um it's just you've got the like function you kind of have the reblog function and if you really want to comment on something, you just comment it on the reblog. Um, which I don't really, personally, I don't look at every reblog that I get. So if they, someone says something about it, I'm not, I might not see it. Um, so it's really kind of distant in that um, aspect, that you're not really directly interacting with the people who are watching you. Um, and just in general, I feel people are less likely to follow you rather than just like something that you post. So some posts may be really popular and stuff, and then <laughs> you don't have really much to show for it. Um, uh, I currently have seven followers and 38 posts, so... <laughs> Of course, I, I've been on the site uploading stuff, perhaps not as regularly as I should be, um, but I've been uploading for a very long time, I guess. I've been, up, I've been uploading for over 300 days, and I really don't have much of anything to show for it. So for art, I don't really know if Tumblr is exactly the best way to go, especially now, unless you're uploading things that have a really big fandom like Danganronpa, like Love Live, things that people are going to see, and even then, it doesn't really mean you're going to get much of a following. Um, so, so this next set, or uh, I guess I'll call it an app because I used it um, through the app, um, is Pop Jam. Um, and I didn't actually ever upload anything to this app because I was immediately turned off by it when I opened it up. Um, when I opened it up and started signing up, 
it asked for my parents' email, which immediately kind of sends red flags to me saying, this is not a site aimed at my demographic. Um, I know this is a site that um, Lavender Town has promoted, but I just do not think that it is a site for me to upload my stuff on just because it seems like it's a lot of kids and stuff. Um, I just was not very attracted to this app. Um, they wanted you to fill out a lot of surveys and stuff. Uh, it seemed like it was kind of less for people who do serious art and kind of more for kids to kind of doodle on their phone and everything. So I honestly would not recommend this site. Um, even if Lavender Town does, I'd say just kind of steer clear from it unless you're a kid and you really want to mess around with that, I guess. Okay, so now we're getting back to a site that I actually really did like, or I really do like quite a lot, um, and that is Instagram. Um, I always feel a little bit more hesitant to upload to Instagram, though, just because I have it connected to my Facebook and a lot of people from my Facebook and who know me in real life follow me there. So, of course, um, I kind of want to, I don't want to hide who I am, but I kind of feel embarrassed sometimes about uploading things. I currently have 186 followers and 273 posts on Instagram. I'm currently doing another art challenge, um, Dog Days of Summer. And I've been uploading them to Instagram first. Um, the thing that I think I like the most about Instagram is it is really nice and kind of intuitive with its uploading. Um, rather than you, you pick your picture or you can take a picture, either one, and then there's a lot of editing that you can do before you upload, which I always, um, Whenever I do any sort of uploading of pictures, I want to make sure that the image is uh, well proportioned and everything. So if it's taken at kind of an angle, I want to fix that before I upload it, which sometimes makes it more difficult to upload onto um, sites like DeviantArt and sites like Tumblr because I want my pictures to look right and the way they do in real life, um, if that makes sense. And of course, cameras don't exactly always do your images justice. Uh, they distort the color, uh, they uh, tilt it weird ways, they distort it. So this is kind of one of the best ways to kind of fix your pictures is by tilting it until it looks kind of more like how you have it in real life. And then fixing the colors so that they look like the colors you have on the image in real life. I try and keep my pictures looking like they do in real life and I don't try and push the colors to make them look better than they actually are. I want it to look accurate rather than some sort of masterpiece. Um, so yeah, I find that really nice when you're uploading. Um, I can just, even if it's a picture I've already taken, I can put it in and then mess around with it before I upload it. Uh, I don't really use the filters much on my images just because the filters just kind of screw with your images a bit. But those can be fun to put on images, especially if you're taking photos and everything. They can make your photos look so much nicer. And <laughs> yeah, I've really found it a lot of fun to kind of use the site. Uh, I can upload kind of just about everything. It's probably 99% art and then less than 1% pictures of me or anything else. Uh, I know a lot of people do a lot of different stuff on Instagram, uh, but art is a really big thing that is on Instagram. Uh, and there's a really big art community. Uh, I know a lot of the friends I made on DeviantArt are actually also on Instagram now. So if I ever want to keep in contact with them, I don't even really need DeviantArt to do so anymore. I can contact them through Instagram. Uh, it's a really big site too, so you get a lot of people who may not be artists um, following you, and you really can reach quite the larger audience rather than having a site like DeviantArt, which is strictly just art and artists who are on that site. 
Um, the one thing I find to be an issue is I don't, while I do get a ton of notifications from Instagram, when I actually look at how much interaction my posts have gotten, I always seem to feel a little bit disappointed just because I look at the amount of likes and it's a lot less than I was thinking just because of all the, the notifications I've been getting. Um, it looks like recently I've been getting like 16 to 20 something notes, um, 30, that's probably pretty normal for me. Um, and a lot of that is just uh, people who I know in real life liking my stuff. So while it does kind of look nice to have that many likes, I don't really know if I'm reaching as many people as I would like. Um, and I do seem to get a lot more spammy comments on my work here. Um, while I don't get any comments on my DeviantArt work really, um, on my Instagram work, I do get a lot of comments such as advertising like message us follow us um well we want to do a collaboration with you blah 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 blah, blah um from just other instagrammers who kind of want to boost their following and perhaps don't really care about what you're drawing um that's been definitely a bigger problem when i do art for dog days of summer just because i tag dog breeds sometimes and they must have it set up, their Instagram set up, so they comment on posts that have whatever tags on them. So I do get a couple of weird comments. I kind of tend to ignore them, but it happens. Um, but yeah, I find that with Instagram, while when you're following someone, you don't see the older posts, I do get some interaction on older posts just occasionally from time to time, and that always kind of, kind of surprises me. So even if you have stuff out there, it's not kind of like lost in the void just because you've already uploaded it. Uh, it's still out there, and people can find it and like it, um, and they don't have to go through your page to find it. So that's always nice. Okay, so the last site slash app I want to talk about is Amino. Um, I only recently joined Amino and it was mainly because one, I wanted to try new art sites and two, I did really want to talk about art sites in a video. Um, and I was thinking Amino was the one that Lavender Town had been talking about, um, only to go back and kind of watch her videos and see that Pop Jam was really the one that she was talking about. And I probably had heard about Amino from someone else, probably like Bailey J or something. Um, but I first joined just the art amino, um, and I do get pretty good interaction. Um, it seems typically on my posts here, I get, um, typically like up to 300 or not 300, up to like <laughs> 37 ish likes per post. Um, at least on the art amino. So when you get something featured on this app, and it's typically picked by um, curators for the Amino, um, there's many different Aminos. Um, I've actually joined quite a few since um, joining this art Amino. Uh, I did have a piece featured on this Amino and it really took off. I have 700 likes on that one piece and that's really quite amazing for me because the last piece that I have that had the most amount of likes of mine was on DeviantArt and it had 156 or something likes and just having 700 likes on something for me is absolutely astounding. So I was kind of blown out of the water by having stuff featured and it really feels good when you get something featured and you're getting a lot of interaction and comments on these posts. Um, and I really do find that I get quite a lot of comments on these posts, um, especially maybe on other Aminos. Um, I find it to be very, um, like, good for artists. Um, the comments that I get are very helpful too, like they're not people trying to advertise for themselves, they're actually genuine 
comments. Um, I've only been on this site for less than a month and I already have 126 followers. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I'm also part of the Love Live Amino and the Duncan Rampa Amino. Uh, so that's also helped quite a lot. Um, I will probably join other Aminos to upload more things. The Dongan Rampa Amino has actually been really nice for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I just finished the third game um, for Dongan Rampa, so of course I have to like draw stuff and upload stuff. I've done a lot of Dongan Rampa art in general, so this is like a really good place to upload all of that stuff. Um, on the Danganronpa Amino, I have 156 followers, um, and I've had quite a lot of interaction on this set, or on this one. I seem to get at least 50 generally likes per post, especially if it's art. The most I've had on this one was the first piece I uploaded it, uploaded here, um, which has 667 likes. Um... And 47 comments which is quite a lot for me a lot of the comments I get here are people who are genuinely and in genuinely interested in my work so um, it's a lot of people who are genuinely interested in my work so it's like really nice I get to interact with a lot of people and I'm connected with a lot of people who share similar interests to me um, I think Amino is probably one of the best sites I've kind of looked at to get your art around. Um, I just don't know how um, easy it is to kind of spread your following from Amino to other sites or really link to your Amino. Um, I still need to kind of figure that out but then again I've been on the site for less than a month and I've really seen quite a lot of like benefit from just being on this site and I really enjoyed uploading and everything. So those were the six art slides, sites slash apps that I looked at. DeviantArt, Tumblr, Instagram, Pop Jam, and Amino. Uh, let me know what you think below. Uh, let me know what site art site is your favorite. Other art sites you'd recommend. I really kind of love kind of spreading to other sites and seeing kind of what works best for me. Ever, of course, everyone's different, and every site that you're going to join is going to work better or worse for you. Um, so let me know what you think down below. Uh, leave some comments. Leave a like if you really like this video and found it helpful. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I'm now graduated from college, so hopefully I can make more videos and upload. But then again, I'm also applying for jobs and working and all of that jazz, so we'll see. <laughs> I will do my best to upload. But yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!